Gordon was feeling grumpy. This was making James cross. Why are you complaining all the time? Because I'm a big blue engine and I know everything. I shall complain whenever I want. You're just a small red engine with ideas above your station. I can't see any, said Percy. Where are they? Any what? Ideas above the station. The sky's empty. Like your smoke box, Percy, laughed James. But Gordon was still grumpy. One day I'll show you just what a big engine could really do. So what can a big engine really do? Not speak to silly little green engines for a start, replied Gordon. Then he puffed away. Later that day, Sir Topham Hatt came to see him. Gordon, you'll be making one stop today with an empty express to test our new station. You can make up time afterwards. Why can't Henry do it? He likes idling in stations. You will do as you are told. So Gordon did. But he was still unhappy, and he grew sick, too. I just can't get up to speed, he moaned. It's time for your visit to the works. Your pipes are clogged, said the fireman. At last, they approached the new station. Gordon was impressed, but his mood soon changed. In front of him was a blank wall and huge buffers. What a boring view. Important engines like me should have a panoramic view, where I can see people and people can see me. And he wished angrily. Gordon was happy when it was time to leave. Now you can really enjoy your run as long as your pipes will let you, said his driver. Come on, come on. I can go faster than this, huffed Gordon. Sick me? Never. But Gordon began to feel more and more feeble. And soon, he came to a complete stop. What happened? His driver and fireman inspected him. Something's broken inside you, Gordon, said his fireman. Now you really will have to go to the works. Gordon was still fuming when James arrived to collect his coaches. Well, 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 so much for knowing about everything. You got too puffed up in your boiler, so it serves you right. When Gordon returned from the works a few days later, he was still boasting. I am the finest engine on the island of Sodor, probably the finest in the world. Come on, Gordon, we're going to the official opening of the new station. Then there was trouble. As Gordon approached the new station, Neither the driver nor fireman could apply his brakes. Something had jammed. The driver reduced steam, but Gordon was still going too fast. Gordon heartily agreed. 